Good morning, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing on this uh, May 21st? Good to see you all. Good morning, everybody. All right, Mike, Lawrence, Charles, Lewis, Brian, everybody. Brant, good to see you. What a great day to start the morning. What I always say, early bird gets the money, right? So um, we're going to talk a little bit about the MNK. That was probably a great, it was a phenomenal short. Uh, called it out right around 8.30. We should have been in around 8 o'clock this morning, depending on where it was. But this was just a great, great short. Did a nice little shake right around the 8.30 time frame. And then, um, I mean, I, like I said in my in, in the room, I'm, I'm done for the I'll be honest with you, I'm done for the day. Me and my day's pay. Um, might go out there and might fix my garden maybe something. I don't know. But uh, this is what's great about this job. You, you, if you do what you're supposed to do early in the morning, you make your day's pay. That's what it's all about. And, um, you know, you can see how the stock had a little bit of a bounce right here. Had a nice little bounce, about 30 cents. And the goal is this. Just like Grant just said, just take your profit, make your day's pay, and then tomorrow's another day. You can't go back and cry over spilt milk like woulda, coulda, shoulda. Take the money and run. Meet your goal. And start fresh the next day. That's what trading, that's why people love day trading. All right, but uh, before we do that, and, and we're going to go out there and uh, look for some other stocks that are out there. Let's just talk about what's going on yesterday. The big winner, same thing, what happened yesterday with um, in the pre-market, which was with Sprint. Sprint took a huge dive. But Sprint, you know, the rumors came out regarding about the merger. It was a great winner. And then she just died. She absolutely died right here in the middle of the day. She had those nasty shakes. Unless you got here early and you got that big uh, pop early in the morning and just took a shot, you did well. But overall, you could see she just kind of like dwindled down. She was hovering around the 780. Um, I gave back a little money on that stock, actually, because she wasn't really making that big pop. And then you could see, good thing we got out of it because at 2 o'clock, it ran from 760, dropped all the way to 680, and really hasn't gone anywhere. But uh, but that was a pretty really a pretty good moving pre market stock, the one that um, which was a great mover, which is also spilling up into today, which is the BIOC. Now the thing with the BIOC, and I uh, and if you if you heard me saying in the room earlier uh, yesterday, it was just too slow. That was the only problem with this stock. But look at this thing; it's at two twenty. Right, it started about two days ago. It was at fifty cents. I mean, this thing has been on on a tear, um, you know. And I, I talked about it yesterday. It was it was one of the stocks in the big in the pre in in the watch list. We all remember the stock. Stock went from a dollar to three dollars. Had a great great short squeeze. So um, this uh, BIOC is going back on the watch list again. It was a fun stock. A lot of you guys did pretty well, and uh, you know that's basically. You know, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's going to spill into today. Great orders out there. You can see 7,000 share order here, 25,000 share here at 215. You know, you got great, great iceberg orders everywhere. So, you know, listen, for some of us that are more advanced, and this is a little too slow for us because it's a little bit more of a of a of a, a level one stock. The only difference is you just got to trade more shares. You know, you buy 10,000 shares of the stock and moves up a penny. Every 10,000 share lot is a hundred dollars. So. It goes up ten cents, you know. Boom! There's your thousand dollars. Now, granted, if you have the money and you're a level one, doesn't mean and you can afford to pay ten thousand. You don't play ten thousand shares. You play within what's in your range. All right, now let's go over a couple of the stocks and let's see what else is moving out there. Ben just said he just made some money on the uh, the M the J M U trade right there. Yeah, nice little pop right there. That actually was the second one on my list right there. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go! Always. Oh, even when I win the meeting going on, you know, always could take a pro always always looking to make take profits right there. But uh, yeah, the uh, the JMU was actually was second on my list that I found. It was this one, and you could see stocks of forty seven percent big per um, right here. It stocks on the big percentage gainer right here. Actually, it's not even on this one. I am on my other platform, but I found it here. Uh, great orders, five thousand share orders out there, thousands. You got a couple of. Not too many sellers out here. Really strong, nice little stock. Some of you remember we traded the stock. Uh, it, it ran from a it ran from a, a dollar to about four dollars. One of the typical stocks we trade up four hundred percent. Listen, she's moving pretty nicely. So that one made the watch list. So you got JMU, you got the MNK, which was that great great short. By the way, she's looking weak again. All right, well, let me tell you, fun stock to trade. That was great. By the way, look at the stock yesterday. 
This is what you got. This is what day trading is all about. If you were a swing trader and you were hoping it was going to come back in, in the pre market, went for 15, it just kept dwindling down, dwindling down to about 1350. This stock was a classic. And when I mean classic, classic. Um, it's a strategy. Once in a while, we might hold it overnight, which is not part of the rule. But sometimes you're looking at, wow, this stock's awfully weak. You know, maybe I hold it short, you know, going into the close. And sure enough, that would have been a grand slam home run for you. But uh, this is how we, this is how you know how to this is how you learn how to trade because by knowing what's happening over the day, and if you were a swing trade and you were long this thing, I, I think you're out of business. I really think you're out of business. But anyway, if you were a day trader, you figured that one out pretty easily. Uh, the B I O C is also back on the watch list, so I put the back on. So the same three stocks are back up there. C L R B. That one's also moving pretty nicely too. It's up 15%, 170,000 shares, great orders everywhere. That one's going to make the uh, watch list is testing some resistance levels from the day before. If it does break this 220, then it'll look pretty nicely. The stock been taking a big hit, but uh, that one's got some pretty good volatility. Now let's talk about, um, which one I got? I also got the BCRX that came up on my watch list too. This one's getting crushed also, down 48%, 6 Point eight million shares already traded. Orders everywhere. Is it? Uh, you listen. Remember what I say about pharmaceutical stocks, guys. Sometimes they don't come back, so be very careful. All right. So, what is the big news that's going on this morning? All right. So, you got this is basically what you're probably hearing about coal. So, retailer. Let me tell you that that's pretty bad. That is really really bad. Wiped out all of years. You know, had, had stocks been doing great lately. Coals. You know, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of coals. And, you know, I'm not going to hold it personally against it, but I don't know if I, if I went the way how I felt about the company, this, the, about shopping there, I probably would have shorted it, would have done pretty well. But, uh, but yeah, this stock's taking a very, very nice little hit right here. It's testing some major support levels right, right now. You could see it. Big, big supports in pre-market, which is what it's doing right here. It breaks this. This thing is gone. I don't really see anybody out there buying it. There's a 1,500. Look, there's really no one out there. Not a really good sign uh, for for Coles, but uh, I don't know how far back you got to go back, find some support levels. Uh, yeah, we got some. Oh, okay, we got some. Fifty six right here. Okay, we could probably test forties. I remember. I remember it was down there forties. Not looking too good for Coles. Anyway, if that if that happens, that means a lot of other retailers are probably gonna do the same. You got to look at Target, Macy's. You know. And we all know the famous one we were just talking about earlier, J.C. Penny. <laughs> J.C. Penny is is just hovering, just hovering above you know that dollar, doing everything it can to scrape every tooth and nail to stay in business. I mean, it breaks a dollar, you could say bye bye for that one. All right, so like, what do we got? We got, we got. Listen, it's 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 Tuesday. This is Hump Day. Great day to trade. And, uh, you know, it's where we make most of our money. So other than that, everything looks pretty good. Anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out? They don't sell Armani suits at Kohl's. Yeah, they, they sell, um, they sell, no, they actually do sell Armani's, but it's called, um, it's called uh, uh, John Armani's, not Giorgio. They're John Armani's <laughs> suits. B-I-O-C um, is inching up. Yep. It is, it is, but it's got to, you know, it's got to test that resistance levels around 250. All right, guys, uh, CLR higher expectation in phase two trial. Yeah, that's, that, is that the news on the CLRB? Thanks for sharing that with us, Deb. All right, everybody, so got a good day going so far. Um, if you jumped in the short with the MNK with me, you did great. Congratulations. Uh, I got pretty much out of it, so kind of just took my profit, you know. But if it does break lower, I don't have a problem getting back in. But I don't know. Listen, when you meet your goals, just take the money and go. Listen, you, you, I know it's a Jimmy Buffett, but at the end of the day, you can't eat the whole thing because you know what ends up happening if you do. All right, everybody. Listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Let's make some money going into this uh, going to this open. I'll see you back at two thirty. And don't forget all the events that are going on uh, here in the upcoming events. Remember, tomorrow we got the live. Uh, trading class with me, open house, and then we got our classes that are starting. And then don't forget, markets closed on um, Memorial Day on this Monday. So expect Friday 
to really be kind of a slow day, especially if it's a gorgeous day out on Friday. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading.